These Yummy. taste like nothing. Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am hanging out with my sister Mo. Hey everybody. And we got a million requests from this video. So today we are going to be trying Mo's pregnancy craving now that she's not pregnant anymore. Best day ever. Um, I am so ready to do this. Are I'm you? I'm so excited about do it. Are you, you kidding me? Do you think you're gonna still like the things you were craving I while you're feel pregnant? Like it. Like, I usually don't have a sweet tooth though and I really had a sweet tooth with Graham. Molly always craved the salty stuff yeah. where I crave the sweet. But yeah. then when she got pregnant, she really got a sweet tooth. All right, so today, we'll that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try them. The first craving was a McDonald's McChicken dipped in the sweet and sour sauce for just like <laughs> extra sweetness. And then of course it comes with fries, which you have to dip in ice cream for that sweet and salty combo. What pregnancy was this a craving from? This was for Graham. And then Grayson was fries. the fries and ice cream. And actually, now that I think about it, ice cream is like Grayson's favorite thing in the world. Via you. Yeah. Whoa. Now I'm like, this is nuts because a McChicken is already sweet. <laughs> I feel like in the mayo, they just mix in a bunch of sugar. It's like, just these sugar are sweet. Stuff. We're both wearing our jean jackets, you guys. If you guys see me wear this jacket a lot, I'm just obsessed with it. This was our dad's jacket. Our really good friend Franco helped me kind of alter it so that it was still oversized. So Molly cool. and I love denim, so we're yeah. just like Try my denim, denim, too. denim. Here we go. You gotta okay. Do that. I mean, oh, it's good. You got sauce on you. Oh, wait, hold on. There you go. I like that the patty's spicy. Now, Molly, are you craving this dip with the sandwich anymore, or is it just a sandwich? I don't think I would crave it with the sandwich anymore. You guys, things have changed. What about you? Mm. What do you prefer? Just the sandwich. Just the I, sandwich. I don't. Okay. I don't eat a lot of fast food. I eat fast food like once in a while with Mike because Mike loves fast food. It tends to be pretty sweet for me, and I have a sweet tooth. Okay. Mm -mm. So let's try your next one. We've got for you, Molly, oat milk Thank ice cream. You. If you guys are new to my channel, my my sister is really sensitive to lactose. We try to avoid it when How we you can. Put that on there so oh, I just Ooh, scooped I it. it. I just got my fingers in there. I'm not into this right now. I'm not into this either. This is bomb though. Oh my god, do I have more of a sweet tooth now? Okay, that's different. Whoa, all of you pregnancy has changed you. I know, I like spicy food. Did not like spicy food before my second pregnancy. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, next craving. Next pregnancy craving that we're trying. Bagel and cream cheese with Doritos. So good. Now, Doritos, Clear Ranch are the goat. I like the cheesy ones better. What? I'm a cheesy girl. You're wild. Okay, that. so you loved this when you were pregnant, but we also used to love this growing up. If you guys are hearing like weird doggy gurgling noises, that's our new French bulldog, Honey Bun. She's our new rescue, and she makes a lot of really weird sounds. But this is her first video where she's hanging out with us. And she's super food motivated, so you'll probably hear a lot of sounds. You like, might hear a very... lot of... <laughs> If you guys have never tried a bagel with cream cheese and then you put chips in here. You're so missing you get, like, out. Get... Are you ready? Here's yeah, ready, the ASMR. Set. So good. I think this is one of those cases where she's gonna love it before, during, and after. Here, let me cut you I half. I think you're gonna like it too, actually. I grew up with these, so of course I'm gonna like it. I don't know if this is like just trashy of us, <laughs> but I don't <laughs> care <laughs> because it adds a little texture. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This is tasting better than McChicken right now. So Molly, this is one of those things that you love during pregnancy and after. I'm just gonna go have this over here. <laughs> this is nostalgia. Mm -mm -mm. This is what we grew up mm -mm -mm. eating. Mm -mm -mm. I should pace myself, but this is so good. So this is definitely a keeper. Now Molly, yep. let's move on to the next craving. I don't have any room left. This is so bomb. This one is maybe the weirdest. Oh. It was the day before I found out I was pregnant with Grayson. So like super early on, I was craving the cheese, the cream, and the salt. And so we have mac and cheese with pickles on it. I understand mac and cheese, and I understand pickles as cravings, mm -hmm. but Molly wanted them together. And I was like, girl, what are you doing? Are you pregnant? And then the Ate next the day she found out she's pregnant. And I was like, oh, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so either. That is so much sodium. Uh, it doesn't mesh well. It's not the worst thing in the world. Have you ever seen those TikToks? I think it's like a slice of pickle and you put cheese on it and air fry it. Oh my gosh. Yes. And we need to make them. They're called chickles. Chickles. <laughs> 
don't know what to name. Oh my gosh, you guys, Chickles. we need to do this recipe. It's called chickle. It's cheese and pickles. You put the cheese down, and then you put the pickle down, and then wait, and you then put you the wrap cheese down first. Yeah, because you're like kind of frying it, and then you like wrap slice it. Slice the cheese. Oh my god. Yeah, it's called a chickle. Okay, well maybe we'll try that. I mean, I'll eat the pickle. Similar. It's just this isn't a cheddar cheese. The combo's a little off. This is no bagel and Dorito. I think that was Grayson wow. doing something crazy. <laughs> and he still is. Deliveries here. We've got fresh pizza from Fresh Brothers. That is like our favorite pizza place. Here we go. Okay, so Molly, tell us what is this? This is black olive and artichoke pizza with vegan cheese. Very Italian of you. <laughs> she wants olives, mm -hmm. artichokes. You want the veggies, you want the cheese. But then you want the ranch. Oh, it just makes it a little bit more rich. Half of our family yeah. is country. Like we grew up in the city, but our dad grew up in the country and so and a lot of our families in the country. So I feel like we're this weird mix of city country vibes. Mm. Now I love okay. pizza. It's hard to go wrong with pizza, especially mm. dipped in ranch. This is a pro tip right mm -hmm. here. Mm. Mm. Still slaps. Still wow. slaps. Wow! This mm. is not bad. Mm, I know. Italian and country can go together. Mm -hmm. They're friends. They should call this combo the Italian cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue on this cravings journey. Next up, we have some of the chips that I was really craving. We have the spicy, which was my pregnancy with Grayson, and then these two that are a little more sour that I was loving with Graham. I've always liked spicy stuff, just not like too spicy. Yeah, I'm usually mild. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Woo! Ah. Ah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, thank you anymore. That's too much. That's hot. What? How did I eat those? Ooh, that's out. This was in, now it's out. Get out of here. Let's try Grammy chips. Grammy chips, that's what we're calling because these are the chips you craved when you were having Graham. Oh, sea salt and vinegar. So bomb. Ba -ba 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 -bomb. And then what do you got? Dill. Pickle. Ew. What? You love pickles. Ew, I do you love, love pickles, pickles. And I do love chips, but I don't always love a dill chip. Mm. Oh, still love it. I don't know about this. Karen, you try that one. Woo, okay, these are a win. Mm. You try these. No. Dill pickles out. What's the big deal? Not these. <laughs> Not these. <laughs> these apparently taste great to Molly when she was pregnant. She was eating bags of these, and now they're out. They're it's a no. It's just kind of like this like, tangy, like trying to be a pickle, but not a pickle. That's exactly what I was saying to you, Molly. Oh, salt and vinegar. Still delicious. Now these next two treats are basically Molly's favorite treats anyways. It's not just any donut, but your maple so maple bar. Bars. My childhood memories is this is why I went to church. I honestly remember the donuts more than I remember the lessons. Oh, the I remember a lot. That's a story <laughs> for another time, you guys. When I get a podcast, we'll tune in and we'll talk about how Lil <laughs> got in trouble at church all the time. But in my defense, I caught them. Ooh. I caught them saving for the podcast. Then we have Molly's favorite, which are almost Staple. empty. Staple. Michael. Mike okay. saved us six goldfish left. <laughs> Let's try okay. these. Okay. Still bomb. Still bomb. This is why I went. Worth it. Feel the spirit. Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> what? Hosanna. It it's a like, song. Mama Mia knows. I used to think they were singing Rosanna in the highest. Rosanna in the highest. It is a church song, Molly. <laughs> Molly's laughing because I got kicked out of church before Molly took First Communion. Yes. And let me just, for the record, it was a Catholic church, all right? They're real strict. Yeah. Okay, maple bars still slap. Slap. Um, okay, now Molly, your goldfish crackers, you just eat those. As I'm getting older, these are, they're good, but they're... Okay, after the maple bar, they're a little underwhelming, but they're still good. And you know what? Put it between your teeth and you crunch it so it breaks in half. Oh. And then you eat it, and it just like makes it a little more flaky. You know, you know how I used to do like it? So one side of the goldfish cracker has salt. Yep. So I'd put the plain side against the palate of the upper part of my mouth. Oh. So the salty side is facing my tongue. Rub it on my tongue, mmm, get that salt off, mmm. Doesn't that hurt your tongue? That's mm -mm. like the coarse salt? No, it's not that Hold coarse, on. it's kind of fine. And then I eat it. Okay, now when I was pregnant with Graham, I had the biggest sweet tooth ever, more than I've ever had in my life. I was obsessed with gummy bears and anything like gummy and sweet. You love these. You were like, this should be in an IV. But Swedish fish are one of your I love oh, you want one of these? Swedish fish. 
Oh my gosh. I've been trying to find healthy alternatives to Swedish fish because I love them so much. So we tried this brand. Am I tripping or these don't taste like anything to me? These Ooh. taste like nothing. If you're gonna have a sweet gummy, Ooh, this is a no, hard pass. Get out of here. Okay. What's next, Molly? They're peach rings. I'm interested to see if you're gonna like these. They're a little better, a little tangy. Really tangy. If you like sour sweets, this one's good. It's actually sweet and sour, but it's really sour. Uh, They're very sticky, uh, and I like it. This tastes like uh, a lemon. Mm, you can have those. Mm, mm, Molly, who am I? I like salt and sour. Who am I? No, thank you. Am I salty? I think you're a little salty. What has life done to me? You've seen some Now salt? I'm salty and sour. <laughs> okay. I'm spicy. We'll take it. Do you like these little guys still? These are so cute. Look at them. Let me get them all hanging out Come here. Another. Okay, we've got Six. cherry, lemon, pineapple is the clear, orange, apple, and strawberry. How do you tell cherry from strawberry? They're both red, so the, I have no one? idea. Mmm, these are good. Yeah, I don't like the texture as much. It's very chewy. Really? Yeah. I like these because they're sweet, but not too sweet. I like these. I don't think I'd buy them from the store. Really? You eat buckets of these. I know. We went to an ice cream place, and Molly was like, put gummy bears on top. And then she put so many gummy bears, it was basically just like gummy bears with a side of ice cream. And it was great at the time. Hormones are time. crazy. Hormones are insane. What are we eating next or whatever? I see pickles. So obsessed with all your heart, just straight up, they're smoked Gouda cheese slices. Just I think it's just like straight? craving that dairy and that salt. But this is fake dairy. You're probably, your you're probably gonna love amazing. this. I mean, you like cheese. Here, I'm gonna split this. We really eat this without a charcuterie. Well, you also find- Well, it is kind of like a You find these on a charcuterie board. Here, do you want to make a mini charcuterie? You don't have any <laughs> we'll go for meat it. or um, crackers. These are little corn shots. These are the little pickles that you find on the charcuterie so boards. Good. And they're just higher density of sodium. Ooh, they're kind of like the sea salt vinegar chips. Yeah, they're high sodium. Ready? I mean, I love them. I love pickles. They make you pucker a little. Mm, gosh, mm -hmm. those are good. Part good. Of two of our charcuterie. Oh my gosh. Look at me. I'm just like eating cheese. Yes. There's no bread. There's no crackers. I mean, look, just... it's still really good. I just think I'd prefer it with a cracker now or like on a sandwich. You know what I mean? I mean, it's nice, but I need something with it, Molly. I think it needs a cracker. I think it needs a sandwich. So these have stayed the same. You can eat a jar winner, of winner, them. Winner, winner, winner. This good, but it needs... Maybe a little extra. It needs something. For our last... Craving. It's a craving that you had, but you couldn't have, because while you were pregnant, you couldn't have cold cuts. Yeah. And this is our favorite sandwich in LA. It's an Italian sandwich from Bay Cities, and it is the Godmother sub. Oh. If you are in Los Angeles oh ever, go to Bay Cities. It's, it's in so Santa Monica. Good. This is this what I wanted is... in my hospital room, but they did not deliver. I thought you could enjoy this. The God Godmother sub. Sandwich. It is so good. Oh. It has the best cold cuts. Molly, mm, mm, how is mm, it? Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my god. The best Italian sub in LA. Mm, mm, mm. If they serve mm. these in church, I'd still be there. This would be my religion right here. I mean, wow. Wasn't there like a spaghetti religion? We what? could start the, the godmother religion. The godmother? <laughs> this is good, you this guys. Good. It's made fresh every day, Molly. Was this worth the wait? Yes. I'll wait nine to 10 months again. <laughs> all right, that does it for the video. We retried all of Molly's pregnancy cravings now that she's not pregnant. Out of everything we had today besides the godmother, bagels and Dorito. Same. Bagels and Dorito and maple bars. Oh, they are nostalgia like for us. Now we are gonna go enjoy some lunch and finish our godmother subs. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give the video a like. Hit subscribe, it's free. And ring the bell to receive notifications every time we post a new video because we're gonna be posting some really fun videos this year. We cannot wait. The studio is almost done. You it's guys. So close. So close. So close. Cannot wait for you guys to see all the new content that we're gonna film over there. And a big thank you to Molly, my sister, <laughs> for coming over and helping me film all this stuff uh, today. Best day ever. Okay, yeah. we can do this any day. I'm in. I'm in. I agree, Molly. This is like an amazing day. Thanks for your suggestions, you guys. This is really fun. I don't think that I would have thought to do this on my own. So we appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Molly <laughs> loves it. Put Wonderful. hearts in the
in the comments for Molly. If you, yeah, give Molly some love because she is now a mama mia of two beautiful boys. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here or there. There or there or there or there.